Mahalakshmi went to the side of Lord Vishnu. Finally, after much churning, the long-awaited jar of nectar came out of the ocean, and the asuras who were very evil grabbed the jar. Lord Vishnu assumed the form of Mohini. A very charming lady. And it tricked the asuras by sharing the nectar among the devas. The devas then became immortal. The asuras in amazement looked on. But it was too late. The devas became immortal, and they all went to the higher regions. From the story, we heard of the appearance of Mahalakshmi. Hence, Mahalakshmi existed before this time. You know, somehow or the other, I find this religion confusing. Imagine so many origins. This religion is pure confusion, yes? Susan, please remain quiet. Let us continue to listen to Bab. I'm sorry, Indra, but I'm really confused. That's why I never like this Indian thing. Betty, Hinduism is thousands and thousands of years old. So there must be areas of conflict. But this may not be your concern. I think you worry over the wrong things. Listen to this other event on Diwali. At the time of creation, while the world was still submerged beneath the ocean, God lay on Anant, the king of the serpents. Anant himself floated upon the water. Although the Lord rested, his consciousness was fully awake. Then God felt a stir within himself, and a full-blown lotus came out of his navel. Within this lotus were all the materials and elements for creation. God himself too was within the lotus. Immediately Brahma came out of the lotus. Lord Brahma was confused and could not understand what took place. By deep meditation, by deep meditation, he looked within himself and finally realized the truth. Then God said to Brahma, O Brahma, I command thee, create the world again. Create the world again as you have done so many times before. Create the world again as you have done so many times before. Brahma then created the three spheres of heaven, earth, and sky. Light, being created at this time, was from thence worshipped. From the story, we learn that light started from creation. Light is Mahalakshmi. Mahalakshmi is light. Light is Diwali. Diwali is light. You know, I am really amazed at this story. It's so original and it makes so much sense. Thank you very much. Bob, Indra, I'm leaving now before it gets any later. Sit down, Betty. Wait. Will you come with me to the temple tomorrow? An important session will be taking place. Will you come? Sure, Indra. I'll come with you. But not for any lecture or singing or anything else. I'll just come with you as a friend. 
Okay, until tomorrow. Bye. All right. to speak you know but why not you see we have to show respect at the temple i find you all have too many rules in this manner just have some patience and you'll understand everything here comes the sari he looks after the temple he cleans it every day and likes the dia sita ram everyone sita ram please stand let us say our opening prayer special message prepared by Mala here on the preparation of the home and self for Diwali but before i ask mala to read this message let us first all participate in a kirtan singing kirtan is a form of worship to the lord so let us all join together narayan karuna main sharanam narayan karuna main sharanam jay lakshmi pati vishnu sharanam narayan karuna main sharanam Lakshmi Pati Vishnu Saranam Vipati Hamare Tune Tare mitaye ho hai hari param pita parmeshwar sharanam 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 narayan karuna main sharanam jay lakshmi pati पाए सब मन छाहे संपति पाए सब मन छाहे भक्त जनों की लाज बचाए भक्त जनों की लाज बचाए दीन बंधु जगदीश शरणम Sharanam, Sharanam, Narayan, Karunam, Sharanam, Jai Lakshmi, Pati Vishnu, Sharanam, Narayan, Karunam, Sharanam, Jai Lakshmi, Pati Vishnu, Sharanam, Narayan, Karunam, Sharanam, Jai Lakshmi, 
This kirtan is telling us of the greatness of Mahalakshmi and Lord Vishnu. It is asking the Lord to take away our sorrows and give us happiness. So when we all join in kirtan, even by listening, we are doing devotion. Now, I will call on Mala to read her message. Sitaram everybody. As Hindus, we must prepare ourselves and our homes in a proper manner for the coming of Diwali. The home must be thoroughly cleaned and painted if possible, about 21 days before Diwali. Alcohol and meat must be kept away from the home during this time. We ourselves must abstain from meat and alcohol for at least 21 days before Diwali in order to obtain the full benefits. On the day itself, after all this preparation is done, we must stay at home and perform Lakshmi Puja. If a pundit is not available, you can do your puja by offering flowers, some prasad, arati and keratin to Mahalakshmi. The family must pray together. Salt food should be taken only after the diyas are lit, usually after 6 p.m. If possible, we should indulge in exchanging gifts and in giving charity in the form of food, clothing and money to the needy. Most important, we must practice absolute truth and sincerity on Diwali day just as on any other day. This ends my contribution on the preparation of the home and the self for Diwali. Thank you. Everything she says makes a lot of sense, but I still can't bring myself to this stuff. It seems to me that all you do is complain. You are not willing to try. Why not make an effort? Your parents will be proud of you. Here we go again. Always in a quarrel. I'm ready to leave. Can we go now? Just a minute. There's a dance that I would like you to see. It tells the story of the greatness of Maha Saraswati. Oh, 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 oh,
understood what she was doing at the same time. Believe me, Suzanne, you haven't witnessed anything yet. Why not come back to our religion in a real way? So I think, although I'm learning some things, I still find this religion too complicated to follow. It makes me absolutely crazy. Susan, I think it's just your mind. Have you given anything at your end to a child? Have you ever offered charity or done a pleasure? Do you speak the truth to me? Tell me, why do you encourage the girls to speak to each other? Why do you yourself indulge in speaking people? You are disrespecting yourself, Suzanne, and the whole society. Where are you going? What is your purpose in life? Answer me. Okay, what's your purpose? Diwali? Where's Diwali? But I walk right. It is people like you who, by changing your ways, make Diwali significant. By moving away from the darkness and coming into the light. By dumping ignorance and seeking knowledge. To know your real purpose here. The true reason you will here. If you change and follow righteousness, you will be a symbol of the significance of the value. If you keep on as you are going, you will just sink into nothingness. Listen to me, dear, and do something positive.
making intro. You are making a lot of sense. I think I am creating my own problems and I've got to change. I think I will begin by singing at the school concert. Do you mind? Do you really mean that, Suzanne? I can't believe this. I really mean it, Indra. Can well, well, let's begin by practicing then. Yeah. 